Welcome back. It's now time for your lunchtime sports. Cricket is where we begin. Manchester High were in control of their Issa Gray Sedley Cup semi-final against host Stets on the third and final day in Santa Cruz. Stets resumed on 81 for four in their second innings, were 182 for seven approaching lunch. They now lead by 120 runs. Tyreek Bryan has so far top scored with 57. He has gotten support from Kevoni Graham, who made 53. Jade Moore and Revan Morgan and Matthew Morgan have two wickets each. So scores in that match, Stets 180. 88 and 177 for 7, Manchester High 250. Now in the second semi-final, set 484 to win, Clarendon College were struggling at 57 for 7 in their second innings on the, on the third and final day of their contest against host May Day. Earlier May Day fails to add to their overnight 359 for 9 in their second innings. Ryan Edwards the top scored with a 97 to go with a 95 from Christopher Lewis and 81 from Chadwick Hewitt. Tanjay Larmond took six wickets, so scores in that match, May Day 287 and 352, Clarendon College 156 and 57 for seven. GC Foster College of Physical Education and Sports has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Centenary University in the USA to collaborate on athletics-related certificate programs. Head of the Sports and Recreational Department at GC Foster uh, told TVJ Sports that based on the new partnership agreement, there will be two-hour short course first, followed by a six-week certification program that will run from April to June. Initially, it will be online for the theoretical aspect of it, but the, the, uh, the participants are expected to come into Jamaica um, to culminate with a practical session for the national championship. The agreement paves the way for further academic and athletic collaboration between GC Foster uh, in Spanish Town and Centenary University located in New Jersey. Um, they would like to be starting the track and field program at your institution. And we at GC Foster here would also like to expand our offerings, you know, to the worldwide audience and, and, and expose our local um, students to international um, education based on how it is done in, in, in Centenary. We and uh, that is it for your lunchtime sports. And I am Jeremy Brown. Shane, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. And that's the Midday News. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news sports and production teams, have a good afternoon.